I'll take a guess here and say that this illustration looks familiar to you. If you're one of the nearly 1 billion Instagram users around the world, you've probably seen a drawing like this before, right? They're everywhere. A lot of people, mostly girls, have been posting this cartoon version of their face in their social media profiles. Users create these drawings in an app called Dollify, where users can create their dollified personas using the tools in the app. The popularity of this app has reached levels that personalities like Millie Bobby Brown, Eleven from Stranger Things, has been using a picture like this for her Instagram profile. But how did this app become so popular? Did you know that it reached the top of the Google Play and the Apple App Store after investing almost nothing in advertising? Close to nothing. Today, though, we're going to explain how the Instagram profile of a guy posting illustrations began to grow to the point that this story ended up in one of the most popular apps in 2019. All of this began with the Instagram account belonging to David, an illustrator and digital animator. Back in June 2017, he started to upload illustrations of some cartoon characters, personal friends, and artists to his Instagram profile, which at the time had around 5,000 followers. Before that, the account was about different styles of illustration. He began to tag different personalities in their drawings, like the band First Aid Kid or Daisy Ridley. Some of them, like Hilary Duff or Jojo Siwa and Rachel Platten, even replied to these posts, giving a big shout out to the account. Also, he began to upload portraits of the contestants on shows like America's Got Talent, taking advantage of the boost that they used to get on the internet after their participation on the show. Most of these drawings, he would upload a day or two after the artist released something important, such as a music video or a Netflix show. One of these drawings is about an illustration he made of Jenna Ortega, an actress who was featured in a couple of popular TV shows, or at least famous for the followers on her account. The drawing provided a significant boost for the account, moving from 14,000 followers the day of the post to over 40,000 a couple of weeks later. The account continued to grow. The style of drawing kept evolving from something like this to something like this. People began to ask for commissions and he began to make them, also making giveaways and stuff like that. At this point, you can probably imagine the type of user that would follow David's account. Most of them were young women in their early 20s. At the same time, David began to share some tutorials and speed painting techniques and some making of videos of his art in a parallel YouTube channel. He also had some videos talking about the growth of his Instagram project and a digital book where he explained some tactics on his experience growing this account. In one of these videos, he told the story of how Grace Vanderwell, yep, the one from America's Got Talent, liked and commented on one of the drawings that he made of her. In the upcoming days, the manager of the singer emailed David asking for the rights of one of the pictures. They actually wanted to use it for the artist's merch. Even though David sold the rights, for unknown reasons, the producers never ended up using the drawing in any merch. Later on, David began to sell merch objects like t-shirts, hoodies, and notebooks with the illustrations printed. But what people really wanted was to have a drawing of their face on the merch and not somebody else's face. Another issue was that Redbubble, the platform he was using, was taking 80% of the revenue, which is of course a lot and not sufficiently convenient for a designer. At this point, close to 200 portraits had been uploaded to the account, according to the data shared by David himself. The amount of commissions requested were overwhelming David, and he began to get around 50 requests every day. This is when the idea of making an app came up. So David is, without a doubt, a great artist, but if you want to make an app, you need a team of coders. That's when he partnered up with Suna Entertainment. Sona is a small indie game studio co-founded in 2014 by David himself and two of his friends. However, he left the team early on since David wanted to take his career in another direction. So he called back on the team to develop the app. As David told us, the development process was quite challenging. Developing the hairstyles in the app was one of those tasks that brought many problems. Also part of the team lived in France and the rest in Costa Rica. But after four and a half months of work, they released the app. This is where people began making their own portraits and sharing them on social media. Also, this is when Millie Bobby Brown from Stranger Things put her dollified avatar as her profile picture for Instagram. She had it there for several weeks. So in the app, you can choose a variety of assets, hairstyles, skin colors, and stuff like that. It includes the option to use a custom picture as the background for your avatar. And one of the latest updates added the option to create male avatars as well. Some proof on the relevance of the app is typing the name on the Instagram search box. 
you can find hundreds of profiles where owners have uploaded their own portraits made with the app. Some of them even enhanced with Photoshop, reaching really aesthetic results. Today, the app has had over 12 million downloads and is ranked number one on the list for free and entertainment in several countries. The app has over 250,000 reviews in Google Play stores and ranks with a 4.2 out of 5 stars. The hashtags Dollify and Dollify app have over 125,000 posts combined. So we absolutely want to thank David, the creator of the app, for letting us use his art and sharing some valuable information on the project so we can make this video. Go ahead and follow him on social media and of course, take a look at the app. Last but not least, I want you to follow these instructions. First, if you're watching this video in full screen mode on your device, exit from it. Then, if the subscribe button is gray, do nothing. But if it's red, tap it or click on it. Done? Great. You can't imagine how helpful this is for us. It's the same as sharing our video somewhere on your social media account. That would also be awesome. Also, please like the video, comment on it, and take a look at some of the other videos in our channel. That's all for today. Stay fresh.